The future of aviation is RPAs. Our RPAs are only going to get better, faster, stronger, and they're going to contribute to the mission on an exponential level. The fun part about the students who are selected as pilot candidates is we take them from the very beginning. You don't need to have a private pilot's license. You don't need to have any kind of airmanship. We'll take care of that. In the end, we're going to produce a very awesome pilot. My path to becoming an RPA pilot, I went to training in Pueblo, Colorado for two months where they take care of the pilots, the navigators, and the RPA pilots and lead them through their initial pilot training. And then we put them through our program, the Remotely Piloted Aircraft Instrument Qualification Course. Every Air Force pilot must understand all the rules and restrictions that govern the skies, and we introduce them to those rules in RIQ. So we have T6 simulators where a student will fly approximately 30 missions. Every day we spent about two hours in it, whether that was with an instructor or you could come back and do a solo sim with your flight mates. This is where we start to learn how to fly by instruments and how to fine tune those aviation qualities. What this does is it introduces the student to some very strenuous environment. We put them through a rigorous training program and we bring out the mistakes because if we correct the mistake, you won't make it again. And then they go through RFC, the Remotely Piloted Aircraft Fundamental Course, where we teach them how to fly those specific aircraft that they'll be flying in the future, the MQ-9 Reaper and the RQ-4 Global Hawk. The next step after I leave San Antonio, I will go to Holloman Air Force Base and I will spend approximately six months there learning how to fly my specific airframe. The training here at Holloman is the initial qualification training for the MQ-9. The first set is going through the transition phase to learn how to actually fly the aircraft and knowing the systems itself. And then we start to go into those actual employment phases for surface attack, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance collection, and then interdiction, strike coordination, and then close air support by the end of it. After Holloman, I will transition to my permanent duty station at Cannon Air Force Base, where I'll be supporting their units directly and the men and women that I work with daily. This is not only a huge opportunity for somebody entering the Air Force, but this is the way the Air Force is going. We're laying the groundwork for what's to come for the future of aviation. It's a very exciting time to be in the RPA world.